Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name's Erica. Today I have some fun finishes to share. So over the last 12 months, we've been making the cutest sampler quilt. If you've missed all of the Sew With Me series blocks, I will make sure to link them below. You're not gonna wanna miss these. You don't have to worry about being behind. You can do them on your own time. And we have made 12 unique quilt blocks in which you are going to be learning some fun new basic quilting skills and when you're done you're going to come up with this adorable quilt. Now there's a lot of different ways to finish it. I shared those in my last video. In today's video I'm going to share with you my finished quilt. I'm also going to share two bonus projects that you can do. Of course there are more uh, but I thought a pillow and a table runner would be a great addition. So let's start out with my finished quilt. So I went ahead and did the finishing that we showed in last week's video where I put the little nine patch squares um, for my sashing and I think it just turned out so cute. I think this might actually be one of my favorite quilts and I love that I made it out of all all of my scraps because that meant I was sewing my stash and also it's just super cute. I can look at all these different fabrics. I can remember what lines they came from. I think they all just came together so well. So for my sashing, I chose this really fun navy print. This is from One Fine Day by Bonnie and Camille and I just love the tiny flowers in there uh, that gave it a little pop of color but it's still overall a navy so it stands out really well on my quilt as an accent fabric. And then for the outside border, I wanted to do something bold and so I did a six and a half inch border on that outside using a cherry print from Lori Holt and I think it turned out so cute. Now the only fabric that I really ordered for this was that navy um, for my accent fabric because I just didn't have enough and I wanted it to all be one color and for the backing. So I ordered this cute low volume print from Lori Holt for the backing of it and I just wanted something kind of simple low volume that would just give it a little bit of texture on the back but not be anything too bold and I think that was the perfect choice. For the binding I did a red gingham which I absolutely love. This came from my stash and this was from a Bonnie and Camille print that I've had uh, for quite a few years. I believe it was their vintage picnic line and I think it added just a really nice little pop right around the edges. Now I went ahead and put my quilt together using all the 12 and a half inch blocks that we made here together on YouTube but there's a lot of different layouts that you can do with this and I shared that last time. I'll put up the graphic here again so you can see. You don't have to do sashing at all. You can do just a plain plain like cornerstone sashing. You can do the nine patch sashing that we did in the video. Um, there's just so many options with this quilt. You can also put the 12 and a half inch blocks together with the six and a half inch blocks and you just need four six and a half inch blocks or two at least to kind of line up with that 12 inch and that would be a really cute layout as well. So I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying this series. I've had a lot of fun with it and honestly I think this might be one of my all-time favorite quilts. It's so fun and colorful and I just love sampler quilts because you get to try new skills and it's not boring when you look at it. It just, there's always something new to look at. So it's been a lot of fun. Now I did have some leftover blocks and of course I didn't want those to go to waste. So I wanted to give you an idea for a little side project in case you have leftover blocks. And these are perfect for those blocks that maybe didn't turn out quite perfect or um, maybe you just had some leftovers cause you had done some testers, which is what I did. So I just sewed four of my leftover blocks together. Uh, two of them were from a different project so don't get um, confused with those. Um, but I sewed them together without any sashing that way they finished at 12 and a half inches and then it was really easy for me to use my leftover scraps for my sashing just to finish it off. I used that same red gingham binding so that it coordinates perfectly with the larger quilt and I think this would just look so cute on a bed. So don't throw away those scraps or orphan blocks. You can always make them into something cute like a little pillow. I also thought it would be fun to make a table runner. So I made all of my six and a half inch blocks, sewed them together and then added that same sashing just like I did on the quilt. And then I went ahead and did some fun quilting on this one. I stepped a little bit out of my comfort zone and did, um, I think it's called a clamshell. I did that on my Juki TL2000 and I love having fun with quilting on these smaller projects because it's less intimidating than doing an entire quilt. Now I used all of my six and a half inch blocks for this table runner, but you could easily use three 12 and a half inch blocks, or you could even mix it up and do some 12 and a half inch blocks and some six and a half inch blocks and just make it totally unique. I also put a tag on the back of this one. This is from my Sweetwater tag subscription. So it's a personalized tag and it's just such a fun way to personalize your quilts. And then as you can see, I did that same background and binding on the table runner as well. 
The other thing I am going to do is put all of these blocks into one pattern that you can download it all together along with the finishing. I know some people prefer that as opposed to downloading them individually, uh, but you can also download them for free below each video um, as you watch through the tutorial. So that's going to be it for our 2021 into 2022 Sew With Me series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for sewing along with me. I'll see you in the next video. Seriously, with the airplanes. Do not film at four o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, okay, and now there's a car, my neighbor. I've got a car and an airplane. <laughs> Why am I filming outside? Like the lighting is nice, it's so pretty out here. Sound is bad. Actually, this will be a good test for my microphone because maybe it's not picking up any of it and I'm just wasting time waiting for that giant airplane to fly over. I also love the fact that I used all of my scraps and it's so hard to film outside because here comes the car. Now my own daughter is leaving. Oh. We got a car, we got an airplane, we got birds. There's dogs, there's people. Now there's a jogger. And bandit. There's also people walking a dog. <laughs> They're so loud, oh my gosh. Like, I'm gonna have to cut out like 90% of this 16 minute video.